Especially now that I'm getting close to the end of my like my last day at like St. Louis Stables, I think like mentally my brain's like, you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there, and then I'm like, <sighs> so I think my body is just like going. <laughs> um, so I feel like I've been coming down with something, um, just like I've been super congested, which honestly could be allergies. I've never really had allergies, but I've been sneezing a lot as of late. But like, you know, I just, I don't know. It's, just, it's been not so great. So I am on antibiotics um, because I went to the urgent care because my lymph gland was like so swollen. It was like pulling my mouth back like this <laughs> because it was like the size of a freaking golf ball. And it just was hard and it was painful and it's still sore. It's still not 100% unswollen. I mean, you can see it. Like, it's, it, this is still hard compared to, like, it's supposed to be, like, not. <laughs> so, um, I've just been so tired. I've been really trying to keep up with everything, but I just, I can't. Like, my brain and my body just, like, shut down. And it's hard to do anything but just like lay there and do something that doesn't take any kind of brain activity like whatsoever. So I basically fell asleep last night at like 6 o'clock and then got up, went to bed when I woke up at like 8.30. And then fell asleep and woke up at when my alarm clock went off at like 5 something and then laid in bed until 7. So that was pretty much my morning and then I started working for WashU. Thankfully this week I've got kind of a light week with horses as far as like training rides and stuff go. Um, it's just lessons. I've got a lot of lessons so and I've got to make up the lessons that I canceled on Monday. So anywho um, I did get my nails done over the weekend very pretty very exciting I like the color but like I also don't like the color because it's like pink and I'm, I don't know if it's showing up on camera like let's see if we go under here yeah that's the color right there I mean they're pretty but like I'm just not a pink person and I felt under the light of fire trying to pick a color so I just picked one and my nails grow super fast, so I'll have to get these because I just got acrylics on because I was tired of my nails breaking off, so I just got went and started getting acrylics again. Um, so yeah, but I really like the place that I went. She did a really good job, so I want to go back to her um, and maybe start getting some cool stuff. I don't know. We'll see. So the plan for this week um, is to... I have a horse show I'm going to on Sunday with Renita while I'm taking her Saturday night. Um, it's the barn that I am going to be moving to. So after May 1st, unfortunately, I cannot afford to keep my horses at Lake St. Louis Stables anymore um, without having, like, without working there. So unfortunately, So anyway, um, I unfortunately cannot afford to take them to keep them there. 
So I'm moving to Avalon um, Farm in New Florence, which is about an hour from my house, which is so far, but that's really the only place I could afford to go that had three stalls open. And not only just three stalls open, but a farm that had stalls for one big enough for Zeke because most of them are 12 by 10, which is just too small for him. Um, he's in a 12 by 12 now, which is still even a little too small for him, but... Um, so, anywho, um, we're going there. I'm, I'm like, it's, I'm really sad because I really don't want to leave Debbie at all. Um, I mean, there's some things about the place that I'm, I like better. Um, just the turnout is going to be longer and more. And the, they've got a really, really nice jump set. So that'll be fantastic for, like schooling 10 and, and Renita over fences and they are putting in a outdoor dressage arena so that way they can do um, combined tests and stuff so I wouldn't say like I mean they host about five hunter jumpers sh like schooling shows a year so if they can start hosting maybe some small eventing stuff that would be awesome but we'll see um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. I mean, it's, it doesn't have like a dressage arena right now, but with Zeke being how he's being anyway, like it's not like I don't have any shows that I really plan to take him to. I want to take him to one in June at Xanadu. It's a rated show, so hopefully I can maybe get the rest of the scores towards my bronze medal, but if I can't, then, I mean, whatever. So, yesterday, he got his coffin joint injected again, and he got his pastern joint injected on that right front. So, we did x-rays, we did nerve blocks, and um, the x-rays show some changes in his pastern joint. So, I think what had ended up happening is we were focusing so much on trying to fix the angles of his feet um, that unfortunately his leg confirmation just doesn't support having perfect angles of his feet. So the farrier is coming out today and I think we're going to put on blue on shoes. So we're going to step back from trying too hard to adjust the angles of his feet because I think it was putting unnecessary pressure in other places that he wasn't used to, which was then compensating and causing him to what? So that is all that happened yesterday. Um, Ted did get his stifles injected yesterday because after the horse show in that second level test when he was catching like crazy and even in that first level test when he swapped that back lead out, um, that's kind of where I was like, okay, someone's... He normally, he's a little bit, he's got a sticky stifle, the left one, but normally it's not that bad, so... I'm hoping that that kind of helped do the trick and he'll be a little bit more comfortable as we start working harder in the second level frame. Um, but yeah, so that is, that's that. I mean, there's not really anything else to, to update. I'm, I'm moving. I'll take you guys along with me as I move again. <laughs> um, it's just, the whole move and all that stuff, it just, everything is so far up in the air and I just, I'm so stressed out and so, just all over the place, so, uh, <sighs> stressed out, man, <laughs> very stressed, so, I have no idea what the future holds, um, while I'm still here, I am planning to just travel and compete and do, you know, start getting into some rated eventing shows or competitions and some rated USDF stuff and just try and get scores towards my medals. I mean, I think that's just what I'm going to start doing and I love competing. Like, I love going out, and I love showing, and I love competing, so 
I think that's where I'm going to put my focus. And while I probably won't be able to do too much of it, because I'm, I'm down to one income now, I mean, I guess whatever, if, if things start taking off on social media and I can start making that into a career, that would be so freaking cool because I really enjoy doing videos and filming and Instagram posts and editing. Like, I enjoy doing all of that. So if that can be something that turns into a career, that would be awesome. But right now, I'm just kind of living, living life. Um, so I want to try and get you guys a barn vlog today. I am going to try and take Renita out to the outdoor rink to take her over some fences if I can. So that would be really, really fun. Um, so that way I can get her. She hasn't really jumped in She is looking so good. Oh my gosh. She had lost a little bit of weight there for a while. And I've been treating her for ulcers. <clears throat> and I think she's starting to look a lot better. I can definitely tell a difference. I mean, she is always going to be hot and high anxiety. I mean, that is not going to change. That is just her personality. Um, but she's definitely like the teeth grinding has has stopped quite a bit um which is really really nice so I mean I haven't really done done much on the flat like as far as asking her for upper level upper level movements and stuff but um that's usually where the teeth grinding kind of came in because she has to work and has to get over her top line and she just you know wants to do things her way but this is just me warming up and getting her, just trying to get her focused. I mean, anytime she's, anytime she's around jumps, it just, she's like, oh my God, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, can't fault the mare for loving her job, I will say. But just kind of going around. Um, she's actually doing pretty good here. I'm just trying to get movement on each side of her jaw. She always gets really, really stuck on the right side, on the right rein. And so going to the left, when I half halt her, she just does not... She just gets really stuck. And you know, again, it's some horse... Each horse has a bad side and her right jaw that's the side that gets a little bit stiffer so things going to the left for her is just a little bit more difficult um, i find that she rushes a little bit more going to the left at least down lines so i mean again every horse has a has a good side and a bad side so after this i was like okay i'm gonna put my stirrups up and then so i put my stirrups up to my jumping height because I was almost done and then half halted her there and she was like, screw you. And then I realized the running martingale came undone. So that was, that was effective. Um, I just didn't, this was like a brand new breastplate that 
if you watch my most recent one of my most recent tack hauls you would have seen this but i you know how they kind of like put it together and they don't actually put <laughs> put them through the holes yeah i didn't check that first so <laughs> that's what happened there good job kelsey um anyway um moving on she was i mean she had had this was the first time literally the first time i had jumped her in almost two weeks so she was quite fresh and this was the first time we had jumped outside since last last um fall since the last fall so she hasn't been outside <laughs> at least in our our outdoor ring in quite some time and she knows where she's going in this ring so she is extra forward in this ring particularly because i mean it's our home ring she knows where she's going she knows the jump she's jumped up many times um i really enjoy taking her to shows because she's a little bit more backed off at shows which is kind of kind of funny so anyway um i always know when i come out to this outdoor ring that she's gonna be she's gonna be her worst that she she is so that was uh that was this ride on the bright side she didn't refuse anything because she was dragging me to most of the fences <laughs> but just trying to get her to halt and stay there and um nice sometimes i'm just so impressed with her so impressed I just love this mare so much. She, and I've said this before in a couple videos, but she's a very professional ride. And I think she's just gotten used to me at this point because she likes having one rider. She doesn't like to be ridden by a bunch of different people. Um, and I think she tolerates a lot with me, but she also doesn't. So she's made me a tremendously better rider. That was actually a four. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be a four. Um, this line's a four, three, four. Yep. That one was really good. I was really happy with that. Um, so she, I mean, I really can't describe, it's hard for me to describe this, this ride and from what it looks like and what people say, um, I mean, you can say what you want, but until you actually sit on her back and ride her, you truthfully have no idea. Um, somebody did comment on one of my Instagram posts. They're like, no hate, but like, do you ever get like concerned about the danger of her going <laughs> that fast at fences? And I was like, you know, at the end of the day, no, because if she's powering to it and she doesn't see her distance. So I see I half halted her there pretty hard just to be like, you got to listen. Um, came into this one, half halt, and then let go. So I was like, no, because, I mean, if she doesn't see her distance, she's not going to jump it or she'll just stop. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, you've seen her sliding stops. That's what she does. So, I mean, over bigger cross country fences, I mean, at the end of the day, if she, she has a whole lot of self-preservation. So if she doesn't think we're going to make it over it, she doesn't jump it. So... And a lot of times it's just my interference and I'm still, I mean, even still. Four. Yep. So she see how she kind of added it in there and was quick with her feet. I was really proud of her for that, but then she wouldn't stop. So to give her a couple, couple half halts. And then once she stops and then, <laughs> yeah, there we go. This mare is insane, man. <laughs> this line was honestly our nemesis. She just was flying and I fit the four in once but as you see going through these I mean she just and I'm trying hard like it's such a fine line I'm trying hard not to like interfere too much but like because I don't want her to get into the habit of refusing stuff or getting like losing confidence or anything like that but then there's like, how much do you force the stride versus just kind of letting her go? So that one, she actually got the stride and I was really happy with that. But then she thought she was going over that jump and then she was like really pissed at me. So then I made her stop. <laughs> but anyway, but it's like, how do you, 
there's just a such a fine line with interfering too much with her and not interfering enough i mean it just it it's it's she's such a difficult ride sometimes and honestly going going through like i said the jumps out here in this ring she just flies through them so like me riding her out here versus me riding her in a show like it's i don't want to say it's a different horse but it's just it's different so it's 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 really difficult honestly to to figure out what to do i mean and i'm just saying this in, in all honesty like she's a tough horse to ride she's not easy and i like that but it also is very frustrating so um i honestly got so tired of holding her back that i just let her do the three <laughs> these last these last two jumps but anyway that was our ride so hopefully you enjoyed it and my rambling um she i mean uh, all in all she was pretty good this day but she i mean she definitely the brakes were 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 lacking but i did have her in just a snaffle so shame on me for <laughs> trusting <laughs> her after having that many days off and then so you see here i'm backing her up because i'm like dude you have to like stop and you have to walk and you have to listen you can't just like jig J she jigs and that is like my biggest pet peeve i'm like either walk or trot no jigging so anyway that's what i was doing there um anywho but that's that's it hey ma'am where are you going oh so, Renita was a little crazy today, a little psycho, but she was good. Um, we pulled her back shoes today, and we also pulled all of Zeke's shoes. So, my farrier and my vet talked this morning, and um, we are going to do polyflex on his front feet. And we think that what ended up happening was because... We were so focused on fixing the angles of his feet, which we did. It ended up not really working for the confirmation of his leg. So then it ended up causing pressure elsewhere. So um, we're hoping that giving his feet like a week and a half to breathe, just not having any shoes on at all. I mean, he's not gonna be going out competing, doing anything like that. So um, even if he has to be completely out of work through this time where he's got his shoes off, while we wait for the products to come in, um, then once they come in, then the farrier is going to come and put the polyflex shoes, um, the glue-ons on his front feet. So hopefully that will help. Um, and we'll see. But um, Renita's back shoes are off. Tens we pulled a while ago. Um, and then I'm just going to keep the back shoes off of Zeke because, for one, I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to having all four glue-ons, there's no way, and his back feet are fine, so I'm not worried about that, but I'm just going to start putting Karatex on it um, every day this week, and then hopefully they'll be hardened up, and any kind of thrush or anything will be gone by the time he comes back to do his front feet, so hopefully that'll be in about a week or so, um, and then... Obviously, this week we'll kind of see how it goes. He can be tack walked or just hand walked up until Friday. Then he can be um, trotted under saddle. So we'll see how he does. If he's sorely off, like without having his shoes on, then we don't do anything. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'm home and. I'm eating toast and what's on this? Apple butter. It's delicious. So I'm sitting down. I have the rest of the tack haul to film. Sorry I didn't get that much today, but at least I got me and Renita jumping. At least I didn't fall off. Although that probably would have been fun to watch. This is still so swollen. <laughs> Makes me look so puffy. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. So I will see you guys in my next video.
which will be one of these tack hauls or I don't know. Um, anyway, you wanna come say hi, Paisley? You wanna come say hi? Come on, Paisley. Come on, come on, Paisley. Oh, Baba's wants to say hi. You say hi, look, who is that? You say hi to the camera, look. Who is that? Who is that? Can I kiss you? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're so handsome. You are so handsome. This is my Velcro. This is like my little shadow. All right, guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye.